Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lucien, and this video is another collaboration with Jonathan from the channel PC Genie. Well, uh, we started a comparison between Japanese martial arts and European martial arts, and he suggested suggested me to talk a little about how to defeat armor with the katana, the Japanese sword. And I remember that some some days ago. Uh, Metatron, Raffaello, made a video about uh, half swording with the katana. I will let Jonathan talk about the half swording and the palm strike with long swords. Well, now about the Japanese sword. Well, the katana was used in Japan on two situations, on the civil life and also in battlefield. And in these two situations the katana made two different roles. In the civilian life the katana was the main weapon because it is in the limit of the size and weight of a weapon that you will be carrying on the, your daily life uh, without getting problems uh, uh, because of the size of the weapon. And in the civilian life the samurai would not have to face an armored enemy. Any cut could kill the enemy. So uh, you can see uh, this kind of context uh, benefits the use of the, the katana as a cutting weapon. But when it comes to the battlefield, the samurai would not prefer the katana as the main weapon. Instead of the sword, the samurai would choose to use a pole arm, such as a spear, like a, the Japanese yari, or the naginata or a club like the Kanabo. This is the version that I made, it's, it's not the historical accurate version, but you understand uh, the idea uh, behind this weapon. But still the samurai would carry the katana and the wakizashi as side weapons. It was his plan B in the case uh, when he lost his spear, for example. So, uh, when he had to draw his katana, his sword, to defeat an armored enemy, how would a samurai use the katana to defeat the armor? First, the katana can't cut through armor. No sword can cut through full armor. But here is an important point. The armor don't cover all your body. So there are some areas that were target for a cut or a, a thrust with the katana, such as the face, in the case the samurai was not wearing the mempo, the mask from the helmet, uh, maybe the side of the neck, also the armpit and this area of the shoulder, because this area was not uh, very well covered by the armor. palm of the hand and the area above the knee uh, between the haidate and the suneate. So these are the targets where you could cut uh, through the fabric made of silk that were covering the, the body of the samurai and also you could aim for a thrust in this area because the thrust with, with the katana could uh, pierce through the silk and maybe the, uh, some piece of mail uh, placed on this, this area to protect it against the cuts. And here is an important point uh, why you don't need to use half swording uh, on the katana to thrust against the armor. The katana will not bend like a long sword uh, that have a lot of distal taper on the blade. You can see that the katana is very thick in the base and it don't uh, tapers so much 
uh, to the, the tip of the blade. And when you look at the flat of the katana, uh, the same weight you have here, it's almost the same, all, almost nearly the point of the sword. Uh, and right here on the yokote, uh, it turns to the tip of the sword. So the katana is very rigid and stiff and it will not bend under the stress of a stab against uh, the armor. If you do a uh, stab with the katana holding the sword with your two hands and go forward uh, using the, the strength of your, your arms and the weight of your body, uh, it's enough for the sword to penetrate and pierce through the mail and silk in these areas that were not covered by the plates of the samurai armor. This is the way you can use a katana to defeat uh, an enemy armored with uh, Japanese armor uh, and why you don't need to use um, half swording techniques uh, in this kind of environment with this kind of sword. Once Jonathan post his video about the European way to defeat armor with a European longsword, I will put the link of his video in the description of my video. Well, uh, if you have any question, please feel free to leave it uh, on the comments below. If you are not subscribed to, for my channel, please subscribe and I hope you enjoyed this video. Well, I see you later.